Well, hello everyone. John here again from Huber Chevrolet. And once again, it's that time. We're gonna take a look at another new vehicle and I'm with Kevin here again. Kevin, how are we doing? Fantastic. Good to hear. Kevin, what are you gonna show us here today? Today, we are talking about the 2020 Chevy Silverado. Uh, the theme for 2020 is just more options. There are so many more options, more than ever before, uh, to enhance your driving experience, including more engine options. Uh, now, in this particular truck, we have our tried and tested 5.3 liter V8 engine, now with better fuel economy and better fuel management. We, if you want something with uh, more performance, or if you're towing, if you need something with more power, we do have the 6.2 liter V8 engine. We still have our 4.3 liter V6 engine. And now we've introduced two new engines. We have a 2.7 liter four cylinder turbo engine for great fuel economy and a three liter inline six diesel engine. We're gonna pair those engines up with some great options and transmissions as well. Those first engines, you're gonna get a six speed automatic transmission. On the 5.3 engine, you're gonna get an eight speed. And then on the 6.2 and the diesel, you're gonna get a 10 speed automatic transmission. Uh, for great reliability and great performance as well. Now, Kevin, this truck seems to have some amazing looking highlights. Pretty cool, right? What, what do we got going on? What's GM doing? What's Chevy got going on for us? There's some really cool new packages out there and they go along with the different trim levels that we have. Uh, and there's trim levels across the board. If you want just a really durable, reliable um, work truck, we have it. If you're looking for something that has a little bit more of a high value, some more features, that'd be the custom truck. Our most popular truck on the road today is the LT trim level. Fantastic standard features, lots of available features there, lots of chrome, it's a great look. I'm actually here at an RST rally sport truck, which is really, really cool, uh, sporty look. It includes things like, for example, the body color front and back bumpers. You have the body colored bars inside the grill with high gloss mesh inserts as well. Uh, the black Chevy bow ties. If you're looking for something a little bit more luxurious, if you're looking for some more premium features, we have our LTZ and our still our uh, High Country as well. There's a couple of special trims that you can get out there. There's the Custom Trail Boss and the LT Trail Boss, very, very popular these days. And some wonderful packages to go along with those, like the Midnight Edition, which is really cool blacked out look. Uh, right here, we actually have the Rally Edition. Uh, some really neat uh, things about the Rally Edition. For example, it has the black stripe here, as well as on the tailgate. Uh, you have the high gloss 22 inch black wheels. Which who doesn't like those? <laughs> really, really nice wheels. You've got the tubular assist steps as well. Uh, as a lot of great other features too that we'll get into more as we get into uh, the inside of the truck. Uh, speaking of options, safety features. Lots of great safety features are available on the Silverado, uh, including automatic emergency braking, front pedestrian braking. You've got adaptive cruise control. You know, you've got uh, lane change alert with side blind zone alerts. You've got lane keep assist with lane change warnings. Uh, and other great features there, for example, you have a uh, rear seat reminder. You know, if you're going to open these doors within usually about 10 minutes of starting the vehicle, it's going to let you know that you put something important back there and it's going to remind you about it at the end of your drive. The jug of milk I forgot last week. The milk won't curdle anymore, so you're going to be <laughs> good to go there. Um, now, if you come with me, when we look at the, uh, the heart of the truck, you know, the, the versatility of the bed is very, very important. Oh, and while we're back here, here's those uh, striping along the uh, tailgate as well, part of that Rally Edition, the black Silverado badging, the black inserts for the Chevrolet across the tailgate, really, really nice look. Speaking of the tailgate, this does have the power down tailgate. Comes down nice and easy. When you're talking about some of our higher trim levels, uh, you can get the optional power up tailgate as well. You can use your key fob to raise it right back up. You can do it inside the cab as well. Here, we don't have the power up, but it's a heavy duty aluminum. Hinge. All the hinge panels are heavy duty aluminum. Very, very light, but very durable, okay? So very easy to close. I'm gonna keep it open because I wanna talk about some of the features of the bed. Uh, this one, for example, has a bed liner already in it. You have uh, cargo tie downs, a high, medium and low tie down on each corner. So there's 12 cargo tie downs uh, rated for 500 pounds a piece for added versatility. You have nine auxiliary tie downs rated at 250 each. Uh, some other available options here, uh, for example, now when we talk about the lighting in the bed, we have the LED lighting that will shine down and on the corners shine into the bed. If you've got a bed cover on here, you don't have to take that up or open it up in order to see. It's gonna shine right into the bed for you. Now, Kevin, below the light, I see there's a little 
Looks like a little flap there. What, what do we got going on what there? What is that? Yeah, this is another available option. Very, very cool feature. When I open this up, we do have a 120 volt outlet here in the rear of the bed. We also have one in the cab on this uh, truck as well. Uh, this is very cool because uh, let's say, you know, you're uh, at the work site, you're camping, you're tailgating. Uh, you can use this for a lot of great things. Uh, one customer told us, you know, they like to go tailgating down at the Husker games. Uh, they'll take a big screen TV with them. They'll plug their TV into the outlet here. They'll add their uh, Wi-Fi hotspot, which we'll talk about later. And they're watching the pregame shows right there while they're tailgating. So very, very cool. Uh, you can't beat that. <laughs> no, it's awesome. Very, very neat. Now, what other fun, interesting options we got going on with the new Silverados? Well, there's a lot, uh, a lot of stuff to talk about. And actually, a lot of it's inside. So why don't we head up towards the front of the truck? You'll come with me here. Let's talk about the back, the rear seat here. Oops. <laughs> um, but lots of great added room back here in the rear seat. Uh, they've increased the leg room quite a bit. You know, if you don't have a lot of passengers back here, you can convert it to a den or a fifth bedroom or something like that. It's, there's a ton of room back here. Um, speaking of added room, if you need storage or anything like that, these seats still fold up. Added storage down here. You can even upgrade this to a locking storage box if you wanted something like that. So again, many options to choose from there. While we're still talking about storage, another available option on the Silverado is the rear seat back storage. And I've got one over here. And in fact, John, if you'll look, you've got one on that side as oh, well. Looks like I do. Open these up, lots of great storage options there. I don't know, John, what can you see putting in there? Uh, definitely a lot of my toe straps, um, odds and ends like that, just, you know, safety kits, you know, the money I want to hide from the wife, you know, my extra security fund. Hey, you know, it's versatile, <laughs> absolutely. <laughs> We've got a pull-down right here as well, which is going to give you cup holders and an armrest. We have cup holders here in front as well. And a brand new feature for 2020 and for the new generation is the vents back here for added convenience as well. Actually, these were on the 19s too. It's a brand new generation feature. Also included is the USB-C as well as USB-A and traditional charging back here. So really nice, uh, nice optional features back here for your passengers that are gonna be riding in the back seat. If we come up to the front seat, one thing that's cool about this truck and you'll notice here now, for example, this is cloth, you can get it in leather, but this features the bucket seats with the center console here. So really nice, tons of storage room down here as well. It's super deep, uh, you can fit client files if you're using this for work right here as well uh so really really nice um now part of the other upgradable packages that you can get john's going to talk about more one of my favorites when you look down on the door is the bose premium speaker system so john why don't you talk more about that yeah let me hop in here so yeah. if you can stop dinging at us real quick <laughs> we turn the accessory mode on to show you guys some features <laughs> so yeah the silverado inside really has not changed style wise ag super aggressive to where if you're used to silverado it's not going to confuse you right um you still have the electronic four-wheel drive options a new mode select option which fun part about that you can twist in you can get into different drive modes depending on what you're doing you do that normal you've got a sport and off-road and you do also have a tow haul mode as well that way now kevin was talking about some of the new features so this being an rst not fully loaded but very well equipped I have heat steering wheel. That was originally only LTZ or above. Um, you got heated seats in the front, as well as you can get cooled seats in the upper trim levels. Now, Kevin, did they do something new in the back seat as well, though? They did, yeah. In some of those uh, upper trim levels, you can have the options of having heated seats in the rear outboard as well. So really nice feature for your for your guests and your passengers. Man, really spoiling the family. Well, awfully <laughs> spoiled with those, absolutely. Hey, I'm a Florida boy, so I like my heated seats. <laughs> <laughs> now, you may notice down here this little green light. This is actually where the push button is. They, they did recess it in a little bit that we don't bump with your knee or anything like that. And it's a great feature. You just hop in the truck, push the button, you're on the way. If the key fob isn't in the vehicle the truck isn't starting but you still do get remote start once again won't go and drive unless you actually come in push the button now kevin what other kind of great features do you get maybe standard or available with this interior 
One of my favorite available features is actually on, on the RST, it's part of the RST convenience package. Uh, if you're looking at an LT, this is part of the all-star package, but that's the dual zone climate control. And that's what we have right here. Uh, your driver and your passenger can have their own climate control settings. For example, John has his favorite. I have my favorite. We all have it set up. I can hit auto, so it'll automatically adjust the fan speed to keep it at the desired temperatures that you have selected. If I want the temperature to go back together, I can hit sync and it will sync to the driver side um, climate control there. Some other neat features that you look at when we look down a little bit farther, this button right here, the, the Silverados are equipped with auto stop. It's a great feature, it's an engine feature. This is a feature that when you get to a stoplight or if you come to a complete stop, as long as all parameters are met, the engine is gonna pause. It's not gonna shut off completely, but it's gonna sound like it did. Now for people who aren't used to that feature, it kind of makes them a little bit nervous, maybe in the first little bit, it takes them getting used to. Uh, it's to help cut down on emissions. It's part of Chevy's pledge to help cut down uh, fuel emissions there. Um, now, when you use that feature, when you have your foot on the brake, it's gonna sound like the engine is off. As soon as you take your foot off the brake and go to the gas, before you can get over to the gas, that engine is back up and ready to go. It's very great. Now, if you're if you're not wanting to use that feature, you're not ready to explore that and enjoy that yet, you can turn that feature off and that's what this button down here does. As soon as I push that in my driver information center, it will tell me auto stop is on right now because we had it turned off earlier and now it's turned off. So you can turn that feature off. Now, do, do I need to shut it off every time I get in the vehicle or is it something once I turn it off, it stays off? Nope, that will be a feature that you will want to shut off every time you get into the vehicle if you do not want to use it. Gotcha. Yep. Uh, another great feature, now we mentioned in the uh, in the back of the bed that 120 volt outlet. You know, if you're worried about snow or rain getting onto it and doing something wonky, shorting it out, you don't have to worry because we have a button here that actually turns that outlet on and off. It has its own separate fuse and you can control when it's turned on and when it's turned off. Very great. Now, uh, before we talk about one of my favorite features, which of course is that infotainment center, one other thing I wanted to point out is part of the uh, available packages and options that you have is you do have home link up here, so you can uh, uh, pair your garage door openers right here. This one does have the power sliding rear window, so when we take a look at that, can open up that there. What do you like about that, John? Well, I got a dog and she loves sticking her head out there. <laughs> or even on those hot days, you know, when all the windows down, it's a great way to ventilate the truck. Absolutely. Something else that you'll notice up here, of course, we have our OnStar features as well. Uh, OnStar, you're going to get a free trial to that uh, great OnStar service uh, that just enhances your driver experience even further uh, there. Also, you're going to get, we mentioned that Wi-Fi hotspot in the back. Yeah. That's right here. You're gonna get three gigabytes of data for 30 days to try it out. And if you want, they have unlimited packages and all kinds of things like that. Uh, if I touch the Wi-Fi hotspot, you can customize it. We want to make sure that you know it's your hotspot. So you can change the name, you can change the password. You can do that yourself. You can push the blue button and have an OnStar advisor do that. Or you can rely on your sales consultants right here at Huber Chevrolet to help you get that set up as well. One of my other favorite features on this uh, screen is Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. They are standard across the board on Chevy Silverados and they are so useful to use. Uh, you know, if you plug your phone in to charge, uh, automatically you're gonna be able to use Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. When you activate them, you're gonna see uh, apps and features on your screen right from your phone. Navigation apps, music apps, messaging apps. Uh, you know, a lot of our vehicles don't come with navigation anymore because so many people are utilizing their navigation apps on their phone. If you do like navigation built into the vehicle, you can still get that, so don't worry. But a lot of people are using it through the Apple CarPlay, through the Android Auto. If you're not familiar with it, we're happy to help you out with that as well. Well now, Kevin, another great benefit to that is it really reduces the amount of distracted driving. Yes. Because you can actually use the push talk buttons right here on the steering wheel. Mm -hmm. Give this one a long press. Siri pops up and Google Voice pops up, and I can just tell Siri, "Hey, uh, call the wife." Yep. Bloop, she'll start calling the wife for me. The wife sends me a text message. I don't have to look at my phone anymore. I can just tell it to read my read me my newest text. Yep. I can respond to the text, and the whole time I'm looking out the beautiful windshield, paying attention to the road, not having to pay attention over here. Yep. If I need directions, I can tell it to you know give me directions to the nearest restaurant. Pops it up. There we go. There's so many more commands that are now voice activated, so it keeps those hands on the wheels and keeps you safe and your passenger safe as well, which is pretty cool. 
Um, one other thing, I know that John likes this feature a whole lot, and that is the trailering app. So let's have him tell one I, you about that. I do. So what's beautiful about this little trailering icon and app here, I'm a gentleman that likes to go fishing and got the boat trailer and everything. I'm not always with someone, though. So the nice part is I can come over here, get everything plugged in the boat trailer, hit start, and I can actually go through all of this without having to individually have someone sit out there. All right, is the blinker working? Is this where it'll run through all that for me? When I'm done, I hop back in the truck, hit stop, and I know I'm good to go. Some of the more advanced trailering packages and the next trim levels, you can actually save preferences for what you're towing or trailering. The last thing I want to talk about on the screen with you is the camera option. So I'm actually going to take my finger and swipe to the left. There's other great apps over here. I'm going to push camera. And now we're actually looking at our backup camera, our rear view camera, which is standard, again, across the board. You can have your guidelines. You can have your trailer hitch guide right there or trailer hitch view, which is an overhead view. <laughs> so you're saying if I miss backing up to the trailer, I've got a problem. <laughs> it's on you because you're going to be able to see exactly where that tongue is of that trailer very, very easily. Now, Kevin, I know this... From what we've done in our training, what we've seen in the new Silverados, this is only a fraction of some of the camera angles you can get on a Silverado. Right. Now, there's I heard there's a bunch of like standard ones like surround vision, HD rear view mirror cameras, mm -hmm. and some other training cameras. Are you able to show us a couple of those as well? Yeah, actually, we have our handy dandy brochure right here, which shows you those views. Yeah, and what uh, John's talking about now, for example, there's a front view. There's actually a camera on the front of the truck that'll show you that. Front top down, rear top down. Um, I like the uh, the rear and the front side views. You know, if you're in a tight spot, if you're around a, a fire hydrant, a low post or something like that, these views are really going to help you navigate safely uh, around those kinds of obstacles. You can see exactly what's going on all around your truck. The bowl view is another one of those great ones there. Uh, available uh, rear camera mirror as well, which is like having the rear view camera on all the time right there in your mirror. Now, a lot of these cameras, like I said, a lot of these are, you can get standard on a vehicle or added to the vehicle. Mm -hmm. Now, some of them are auxiliary camera systems that just get plugged in, and you can actually order those from our certified parts department and get them installed right here at the dealership. Exactly. So depending on what you have going on, what you're towing or hauling, you can actually get cameras that see inside your trailer. So mm -hmm. if you've got livestock or you just want to make sure nothing's roaming around. And you probably have seen the commercials with the invisible trailer. It does work. You just got to get the camera that plugs in. So by all means, if, you, if you're towing or hauling, come see us. Let us know what you got going on. We'd love to get you connected so you can tow and haul safely. Absolutely. Now, Kevin, I know we could probably talk hours and hours and hours with the new Silverado. They're great vehicles. You and I just got right. into ones ourselves. I, I personally actually have an RST. I've you, got the LTZ. You got an LTZ. <laughs> he likes a little bit more luxury items. I use mine a little bit more for the outdoors, so I'm like, I don't need to get it all messed up. Right. But where can these folks come find us if they got any questions, if they need help, or they just want to come say hi? Yeah, any questions, or if you want to see one of the Silverados, come down and see us. We're at 114th and Dodge right here in Omaha, Nebraska. You can give us a call, 402-496-0220, or look for us online, HuberChevy.com. Perfect. Just like normal, guys, drop a comment, leave a like, let us know what, what else you want to see or if there's any other questions you got. Until then, have a good one.